Hi everyone, I am Dr. Sakshi Goel. The topic is Gay Lussac's Law of Gaseous Volumes from section Laws of Chemical Combinations. Gay Lussac Law of Gaseous Volumes or Combined Volumes was proposed by Gay Lussac in 1808. This law states that when gases combine or are produced in a chemical reaction, they do so in a simple ratio by volume provided all gases are at same temperature and pressure. This law can be illustrated by the following example. Two volumes of hydrogen gas combined with one volume of oxygen gas to form two volumes of water vapor. Ratio of volumes of hydrogen, oxygen and water is 2 is to 1 is to 2 which is a simple whole number ratio. If 100 ml of hydrogen gas combines with 50 ml of oxygen it will form 100 ml of water vapors. This law is similar to the law of definite proportions. The law of definite proportions was with respect to mass and this law is with respect to volume. Let's try to understand this law with an example. The equation for the combustion of acetylene C2H2 is 2 C2H2 gaseous plus 5O2 gaseous gives 4 CO2 gaseous plus 2 water gaseous. What volume in liters of oxygen is needed to react with 15.0 liter of C2H2 if both the gases are at same temperature and pressure? In the reaction, we can see that the ratio of volumes of C2H2 and O2 is 2 is to 5. So we can say that 2.0 liter of C2H2 requires 5.0 liter of O2. Volume of C2H2 available as in the react uh, equation uh, question is 15.0 liters. So the volume of O2 needed will be equal to 5.0 liters upon 2.0 liters multiplied by 15.0 liters which gives answer as 37.5 liters. So 15.0 liter of C2H2 requires 37.5 liters of O2. Try this question yourself. 20 ml each of oxygen and hydrogen and 10 ml of carbon monoxide are exploded in an enclosure. How much oxygen is left after the explosion? So two reactions are involved in this question. One is hydrogen with oxygen and another is carbon monoxide with oxygen. The reactions are 2H2 gaseous plus oxygen gaseous. It gives 2H2O in gaseous form. Similarly, 2CO gaseous plus O2 gaseous gives 2CO2 gaseous. Now in the first reaction, we can see that the ratio of volumes of H2 and O2 is 2 is to 1. So 2 ml of H2 requires 1 ml of O2. Volume of O2 required for 20 ml of H2 will be 1 ml upon 2 ml into 20 ml that gives 10 ml. So 20 ml of H2 requires 10 ml of O2. Same uh, thing we can do with the second reaction. In this reaction the ratio of volumes of CO and O2 is 2 is to 1. So 2 ml of CO requires 1 ml of O2. In the question 10 ml of CO is given. So the volume of O2 required for 10 ml of CO 
will be equal to 1 ml upon 2 ml into 10 ml which gives answer as 5 ml. So 10 ml of CO requires 5 ml of O2. Total volume of oxygen used is in the first reaction as well as in second reaction is 10 ml plus 5 ml is equal to 15 ml. So the volume of oxygen left after explosion is 20 ml minus 15 ml that is equal to 5 ml. So 5 ml of oxygen gas is left after the explosion. I hope the topic is clear to you. You can leave